and I'm going to record this webinar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it over here on the Short Sale Coaching Club on Facebook. Okay, so if you want to, there's other there's other ones that I've recorded in the past that are over here too. You can come over and you can find some real cool stuff on Facebook over at the Short Sale Coaching Club. So I'm now recording this webinar and I'll post this over here too. So make a note to self, Facebook, the Short Sale Coaching Club. Okay, um, now here's my website at Simple Listing Solutions. Again, you guys know how to get a hold of me. If you go down to the post office and look on that little board, I'm not on it anymore. So I'm pretty safe to work with. Right, you can do your due diligence though, nonetheless. Now let's talk about 2013 because it's coming up here in oh 10 days, 10 days, and 2013 is going to be your best year ever. It, you, you 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 might not believe me, but it absolutely can be. The market's just primed. There's a lot of agents out there killing it right now, and they have been through the short sale market. They love short sales. They say Chris this is the best thing that ever happened. I love short sales. <laughs> They're easy to find. I go list them. They don't argue about the price. They don't argue about the commission. I put the thing on the market. I get an offer. I turn it over to somebody else. They manage that whole process. Let me know when it closes, I, and I go get more of them. Right, and it's a great thing. It's a great thing. You know, agents that have just living and thrive. You may be one of them. You may be one of them. Um, but let's talk about how to make 2013 your best year ever since it's in 10 days away. And I'm just going to give you ideas. Okay. And I know that as a real estate professional, because listen, you guys, before I began my career about eight years ago, I traveled the country for seven years with a guy by the name of Joe Stumpf. He's the number one marketing dialogue skills coach on the planet for real estate and mortgage. <laughs> Without a doubt. And, and I'll tell you, the marketing genius behind Joe Stumpf and Brian Buffini, I mean, guys like Eben Pagan and Dean Jackson and Jerry Ballinger, brilliant guys. I mean, I traveled the country for those guys seven years, three weeks out of the month on the road, training you guys, training you. Maybe you were at a three-day main event. I went to a couple thousand of them, right? <laughs> training you guys and selling you a box full of stuff for a couple thousand dollars. Great stuff, but stuff that would send a lot of people into information overwhelm. You know, and, and, and so that's why I named my little business here Simple Listing Solutions. Let's keep things simple. So in 2013, if you want to make it your best year ever, I'm going to share stuff with you right now. It's dumb, not my idea. Craig Proctor, Brian Buffini, Joe Stumpf, Howard Brinton, Mike Ferry, Tom Ferry, you know, Harris University, Pro Step Marketing, CDPE, Pro, all those folks, they all got good stuff. And then they're all going to, they would all agree, right? And I think every, every, realtor doing business in the country would agree with the things that we're going to cover right now. And they'd say, yep, yep, you got to go do that, right? So let's talk about 2013, all right? If you want to make 2013 your best year ever, you got to plan for listings, plan for listings. I said buyers, again, they're going to be a byproduct. They'll be a result of your inventory. Good buyers will, and that's the only kind you want, right? So plan for listings and execute smartly. You see, successful entrepreneurs, the most successful entrepreneurs, what they do is they take a good idea. You know, it's not like they've got brilliant ideas. Sometimes they've got brilliant ideas. But what they do is they take a good idea and they execute really well. Right? Good idea plus fabulous execution equals great success. Right? Knocking on doors to go get short sale listings right now, that's a good idea if you know how to execute. Right? If you know how to execute, you could go get listings every single day doing that depending on your marketplace, right, right. It, it, if you know how to execute, right, an open house, that's a great idea, depending on the property, where it's at, like if it's underneath the freeway in between a gas station and a 7-Eleven, I'm not going to hold it open, probably, right, probably, I don't know, maybe there's a ton of foot traffic in this unique building, but, you know, most properties, though, that lend themselves to an open house, if you know how to execute, they're brilliant, they're great, right, so plan for listings, right? plan for listings, Remember, the purpose of a listing, when you do get a listing in 2013, the purpose of a listing, besides, you know, primary thing is most amount of money, least amount of time, less amount of headache for the seller, right, you know, representing them. But right in a very close second position behind that, the number one, you know, number one and a half, you know, purpose of a listing is to get another one, right? If you're not leveraging your inventory in 2013 to get more of it, you're, why? Why? Right? You want to make 2013 your best year ever. You, you're, it's a lot easier to leverage your inventory than it is your dog or anything else in your life. <laughs> right? If you want more business, right? your inventory. And what do I mean by that? Well, agents, they make these fatal mistakes of like they make a just listed flyer and they stick it in the mail. What? Just sold. They stick it in the mail. 
They mail it out to the neighborhood. What a waste of time, energy, and money. That does nothing for you. Right? In direct sales, we are in the relationship business. And to the degree that we're meeting strangers, and converting them into non-strangers, and positioning our, ourselves as real estate sales professionals in front of them, that's, a, that's to, to the degree that we're doing a lot of business. Right? So when you get a listing, yeah, you better make it just listed. But I recommend you knock on 100 doors around your listing and hand it to the homeowner and say, Hi, my name is Chris Silveda with Keller Williams. I just listed a home down the street. I want to let you guys know about it. Here you go. And I would take that just listed flyer and I'd insert it into my newsletter. Go, Here you go. Here's the information on that home down the Oh, oh okay, great. Hey, what's your name? But now i got a face-to-face -face intro, uh, positioning myself as someone who lists home for sale. 60 days later, 90 days later, Hey, how's it going? It's me again. Hey, listen, just want to let you know we sold the place down the street, got five offers. Oh, hey, yeah, nice to meet you face-to-face -face again. This isn't the second time. You know, I came by your great open house. This is actually the third time. Don't you remember my name? It's like, now I know the people in and around my listing. It's a process. Right? But so in 2013, if you want to make 2013 your best year ever, plan for listings, execute smartly. Leverage your inventory. Leverage your relationships. Leverage. Leverage doesn't cost money. Right? There is so much money wasted on marketing attempts. I wish I could have all the money that's been wasted on marketing. I'd be a bazillionaire. Right? Good marketing doesn't even cost money sometimes. It depends on the solution. Right? It depends on what's the challenge, what's the solution, how creative was your solution. Did you come up with a free one? Wow, and it's highly effective and you execute brilliantly. Who needs marketing budget? Right? Now, if you don't know how to execute, if you're not a marketer with a real estate license, you know, there's all kinds of ways to waste your money and spend your money. Some of it's not a waste, I suppose, depending upon your habits. Right? But more than, more than all the great training and stuff that's available out there, like Craig Proctor, Brian Buffini, Joe Stumpf, Howard Britton, Mike Ferry, Tom Ferry, Program 36, you know, all, all that stuff, more than all that great stuff, <laughs> more than all that. What you need in 2013 to really thrive, really go rock it, is you got to have some more energy, you got to have some passion, and you got to have some really good, strong habits. All that stuff is free. All that stuff is free. Good, strong habits are free. Energy and passion, that's free. You can create it, right? You create it by having a noble selling purpose. You know, you're out there for more than just money. You're out there to help people, and you know it, right? And people that you're talking to know it too. But if you've got a really good, warm, pleasing personality, like Napoleon Hill says in his famous book, Think and Grow Rich, if you've got a warm and pleasing personality and you're out there with some real good dialogue skills talking to people in 2013 and letting them know who you are and what you do and what makes you unique, you're going to kill it because you're in the direct sales business. You're in the relationship business. You're not hiding behind your desk playing on Facebook in 2013. Craigslist. Okay, well, maybe you can go farm a bunch of 10,000 buyer leads and sort through them to find out which ones are going to actually buy a house for me in the next year to pay it four bucks an hour when you're done closing because you had to write 17 offers. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Go get in the relationship business, right? Like like top producers, agents that are doing business, they belong to networking groups. You know, BNI, they belong to like Toastmasters. They're going on meetup and they're joining groups and cycling clubs and teams and they're out engaging. They're, they're coaching their kids' soccer teams and they go, oh, I get so much business from my kids' little league team. And they're out in relationship, knocking on doors. Hey, I talk to people in the neighborhood. I got this neighborhood that I farm. That's what they're doing. Right. And if they're really on purpose about it, they know their numbers. They go, hey, it's 50 new relationships a week. Right. We're going to talk about all this stuff right now in a way that you'll remember it because I'm going to imprint some stuff onto your brain. Because right. you don't even need me or my tools or anybody. What you need are good habits, good dialogue, great personality, and then an idea of what to go do. Right. Tools and technology, they grease the tracks right, for good habits. But technology, to a large degree, throws a lot of agents into information overwhelm. They get a new smartphone, they don't know what it does. They, they, they use it to like 5% of its capacity. Like If they knew that, wow, I could make a video with my smartphone, I could just walk through this house, make a little virtual tour, I could post it on YouTube with a smart headline, smart title tags, smart video description, put my URL in there, post a thing on YouTube for free. Right? I'm going to start getting a bunch of traffic from that over to my website, maybe even people calling my phone directly. And then I can also make a little video that says, hey, friends, happy holidays from the Crystal Veda team. Just want to let you know we're thinking about you, wishing you a Merry Christmas, and great, thanks for not keeping us a secret. In 2013, I could make a video, and I could email it to my entire email list. Hey, click here for a message from me to you. And they click on it, and there's a video of me. Hey, it's the Crystal Veda team. Thank you, thank you. And I sing them like a little ho, ho, ho song. 
right? That's a very powerful email broadcast that people remember and go, wow, right? So I, I'm just going to play smarter in 2013. Everything I've spoken of so far is free. YouTube is free. Video, that's free, right? So in 2013, let's just keep it simple because real estate is simple. Like when you start to get confused in real estate, stop. Just stop. Take a couple of real big deep breaths, right? Oxygenate your body and go, <sighs> okay, hmm, what's the next most obvious thing to do? Right? What's the next most obvious thing to do? All right. In 2013, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to think in terms of groups, two groups, strangers, not strangers. Okay, so strangers and not strangers right now, this is sort of the crust of a pie that I'm going to make with you. Okay, strangers and not strangers are going to make up a crust. So this conversation is going to get a little bit more complex as I add a couple layers to the pie. But basically, you guys just need to know that there's two groups, people who don't know you, right, and people who do. Okay. When it comes to the strangers, the people who don't know you in 2013, if you want to be doing a lot of business, you need to be converting those people into non-strangers. And you need to be doing it in a way that they go, oh, hey, hey, you're a great real estate professional and, and a foreclosure alternatives advisor who can help us for free. We should tell people that we know about you because, hey, you're totally different and totally unique and super cool. Wow, we didn't know. Hey, come on in. Can I pour you a cup of coffee? Like, you want to be converting strangers into non-strangers who know you that way, who have that experience of you, right? So the question is, which strangers? There's a whole planet full of them, right? Well, you know, is it a geographic farm area? Is it FISBOs, expireds? Is it NODs, you know, 90 day late, list pendants? Is it notice a trustee sale? That's my question to you. You, you need to make that plan. 2013 is in 10 days, right? You need to have your group or groups. Which strangers are you going to focus your marketing message on in 2013? Right Now, I'm going to recommend, depending on where you are, but a lot of places, a lot of short sale business out there. <laughs> a lot of it. Right? Geographic farm area, that's always a great place. Right? That's always a great place. But in 2013, in terms of the strangers, who are you going to contact and how are you going to contact them? Right, door, phone, mail, newsletter, postcards, letters, internet, pay-per-click stuff, print ads. You know, how are you going to do that? Do you have a budget? Right, and and why are you paying for it? Do you have anybody else like other people that can pay for it, like title people, lender people, you know, vendors that can help pay for your mailing? They would if you had a smart mailing program. Right, they could. Right, and then that'd be sweet. Talk about leveraging your relationships, getting other people to pay for your marketing, and having good marketing. Right, and then again, farm area. Now, how about non-strangers? Past clients, friends, family, people in your community, people in your county who, if they were to pull up at an intersection at a red light and look over to bus bench, right, and they saw your face, you know, not sleeping under a newspaper, but on an ad, like on the bench, you know, Remax, you know, da 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 with your name and stuff, they would look and go, hey, I know her, I know him, you know, with a smile on their face. Those are the people that I'm talking about when I say non strangers. Old enough to buy a house, they have a job, right, they know people. Right. Uh, you don't have to put people on your list that are 12. They're not, they're not going to be a, you know, in your really sphere of influence so that matters for quite some time in terms of your business. But you know, homeowner age people, past clients, they're great. Center of influence, right? those folks. Now, uh, if you've been in real estate for an amount of time, you've got to have a list of them, right? It's easy to say, no, you can be honest because <laughs> I know. I, I did that too. My, my database was a yellow legal notepad in like my desk for a lot of years, right? And I was doing a lot of business and not following up with people because I was just sort of an order taker. I understand, right? I understand. But now it's time in 2013 to really crank it up, right? You got to have their names, phone numbers, addresses, email addresses. What are their birthday? Everything you can find out about your list, right? Get it together, right? You're a list manager. You're actually a relationship manager. Did you know that? It's a get out of real estate. Get out of real estate. You're not in real estate. You got a real estate license, and that's how you'll get paid, sure, helping people buy and sell, but that's really not your business. Your business, if you want to be a top producer and have passion and thrive and energy for this business, your business is to really become a relationship manager. You're like a you're like a conductor of an orchestra. Some people, like if I were to put you on a stage in a room, like let's say the room is dark, but there's like a 
5,000 people in the audience. And then you go out there on the stage and we turn on all the lights and I give you a microphone. Some people could get the entire audience to not only pay attention but to start doing the wave in like a short amount of time. Some people wouldn't even be able to get the audience to listen to them. Um, excuse me, excuse me. It's just a big loud crowd of people talking. They don't even hear you. They're like, whatever. Right? So it depends on you. <laughs> you, you your, your dynamism, your personality, what's your words? How are you presenting yourself? Right? And so in 2013, get your list together. Right? I'm going to tell you a powerful message that you want to start beaming to them and how to do it right? multiple times a month so you can start getting a lot of referrals from your list because that's mandatory for any real estate practice. So let's move into something new here for a second. Can you guys list some popular methods for finding listings? I can. I mean, we all can. We all come up with the same list, probably. Door knocking, right? mail, open houses, cold calling, asking people, referrals, purchasing leads, all, all that kind of stuff. Mailing, right? I think, yeah, you know, I got mail up there, right? Internet, somehow on the internet. I'll show you how to do that. These are all things that, that we would just think of. And these are all things that work. Why would we think of these? Because they've been around a long time. Why have they been around a long time? Because they work. Who do they work for? People who execute. Who do they work really well for? People who execute really well. Like, let, let's talk about execution. You're going to do an open house. Okay, so I'm going to do an open house on Saturday. Okay, so rather than have people walk into my open house and treat me like I have the swine flu, I want them to come in and engage with me and hang out with me and, like, not leave, hang around. So tell me more. Hey, I want them to fall in love with my personality and like my and then leave going wow that age talking about me and who do I want those people to be neighborhood homeowners why purpose of a listing is to get another one what's the purpose of an open house to get all the neighborhood homeowners to come and meet and greet have a nice cup of Pete's coffee fresh Starbucks got some cinnamon rolls going hey check it out what they did in the backyard there's music there's atmosphere they can't even leave because I gave them coffee and a ceramic mug so they're hanging out talking to me Right, and they're having a nice time. Hey, check out the house. You guys have any questions? And I'm handing out tools now that that position me as wow. What's this? Hey, thanks for asking. That's a book I put together. <laughs> may or may not apply to you guys, but I know you know people here in this neighborhood who'd love to have a free copy of my book. I'll show them how they can avoid foreclosure for free, right? Without getting ripped off, I can help them save their home for free. And if we can't help them save it through a loan mod or through a harp refi, we can help them stay in their home as long as possible, get paid cash, up to $30,000 cash relocation assistance in some cases. Anyway, this book shows people how to do, oh, wow, hey, great. Like, that's what my open houses are, right? Purpose of a listing, just get another one. So that's phenomenal execution. And not only that, but the morning of my open house, I walk to 100 doors around my open house. I knock and I hand them an invite to the open house. And the invite's not just an invite. I stuff it into my newsletter. Why? Because now my newsletter is going to get some shelf life in their house. And in my newsletter, they're going to see some interesting things about me with the open house invite. And then if they forget about the open house, no problem. When they step outside their front door, i got signs all over the place. It looks like the Ringling Brothers Circus came to town. Right? And the result of that effort is that a whole bunch of neighborhood homeowners come to my open house and their experience of me is, wow. This agent gets it done, came to our house, invited us to the open house, got all these signs out all over the place, great looking newsletter, got some music going in here, come on in, sure, we'd love to have some coffee. Right? That's what I'm doing. That's an open house. If a buyer walks in, they got a briefcase full of cash, and they say, I love this house, I don't have an agent, okay, party over. Right? But up until that day, <laughs> my open houses are to meet and greet neighborhood homeowners and get them to fall in love with me. Right? So when it comes to open house, how do you execute? Right. When it comes to door knocking, how are you executing? Hey, folks, how's it going? My name's Chris Sylvain. I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor with Keller Williams. Listen, this information may or may not apply to you guys, but I know you know people at your work or your church or right here in our own neighborhood that owe more on their home than it's worth. And I wanted to let you know, I can help them save their home for free. I've got a team of professionals behind me. We can help them save their home through a loan mod or through a harp refi. <laughs> no charge. Right. And if they don't qualify for any of those programs, we can help them stay in their home as long as possible and possibly get paid up to $30,000 relocation assistance to move out Right, with no foreclosure. So could I leave this with you guys and ask you to think about who you might know? Hey, thanks. I hope I didn't interrupt your dinner. Got to go. Bye. I'm not, what am I looking for? I'm not, I'm not a real estate agent coming around breathing commission breath all over them trying to short sell their house. It's going to make them get defensive and say, go away. We're working on a loan mod. <laughs> in fact, if they're working on a loan mod, they're going to say, come on in. We want to talk to you. Let us pour you a cup of coffee. Right. So, And then I get them on my team. I mean, I'm on their team. So when it comes to door knocking, you can execute fabulously, and you can go out every day if you know what doors to knock on and get listings. 
Right. And if you and if you say, hey, they're not home, which is most of them, like I'm knocking on doors, they're not answering the door, they're not home, what am I going to do? Hey, I got my little yellow notepad right here with lined paper. I got my little ink pen right here. I'm going to write my little note that I write, and I'm going to stuff it in the crack of the door, and when I get about 15 houses up the street, they'll call me. Ah, oh, you just came by our house. Oh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Right, because <laughs> execution, right, execution. Mail, what are you going to stick in the mail? You know, if it's an NOD, don't you know that every realtor in Southern California is mailing to that mailbox? So what are you going to put in that mailbox that's going to be any different that's actually going to make them take it in the house and open it up and say, whoa, <laughs> right? You, you can do it, but how? Do you have that plan in place? Do you have the tool? Do you have the know-how? Do you have the knowledge, right? Do you have the budget? And if you don't have the budget, do you have somebody to pay for your mail for you? Right. And then referrals, you could be cranking them up, but that again, that requires communicating to your center of influence strategically, consistently, all the time, every month, and then you start getting a bunch of referrals. It's it's not referrals aren't accidental, they're orchestrated. Right. So the number one source of listings from NAR, so we've got to, this is just part of the hey, how to how to crush it in twenty thirteen conversation that we have to be having today. Right. According to NAR, it's <laughs> non strangers. Right? It's referrals from the people who know you, like you, trust you. Right? Number one source of listings. That's always going to be true. However, right now, that's kind of a gray area because I know realtors that go out every day and they knock on doors and they get listings from strangers. Right? They're converting strangers to non-strangers and getting listings from them faster than they're getting referrals from their sphere. And you can do that too right now because these are unique times. Right? You can go out to these properties and just say, hey, you know, I mean, there's lists of people who need to sell their house. There's whole neighborhoods. You don't even need the list, right? Just go to the neighborhood, right? If you've got the right dialogue, right, and the right offer. So people say, hey, would you help us come on to our team? We want you on our team. Oh, okay, sure, right? So, um, but right now, non-strangers always have been, always will be a great source of business for you. So in 2013, you've got to do a better job. We all do. We all do embracing the non-strangers in our lives and letting them know who we are and what we do that makes us unique. I'm not a soybean pork belly commodity. I know there's 35,000 realtors in San Diego, but that's not me. Right? I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor. I, sure, I help people buy and sell real estate, but I help people save their homes as much as I help them buy and sell in this economy. And my services are free. I can help people with HAMP, loan mods, HARP 2.0, government refi, short sales. I can help them stay in their home and get paid cash to move out with no foreclosure. I mean, I cover the bases. In fact, if you know anybody that needs my help saving their home, I'd love to talk to them. My services are free. Right? That's the kind of dialogue that people go, oh, Oh, I just thought you were like a pork belly commodity soybean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's everybody else. That's not me. Right? I'm a certified foreclosure alternatives advisor. <laughs> that's what I do. Oh. Right. So what's the message that you're going to be broadcasting to your center of influence all the time, every time, like every couple times a month in 2013? So they're going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, my mom. Hey, my dad. Hey, my friend. Hey, can you help us? Hey, my neighbor. Right, and when they're out there in the world and they hear people, they go, "Oh, hey, I've got a realtor. Yeah, I have a realtor. I know her. I hear from her all the time." Right? She's cool. She's a foreclosure alternatives advisor. She could help you guys. Right? So um, let's talk about that. What I want you guys to know here, uh, marketing 101. Never forget this. A dollar spent to these people goes a lot further than it does with a stranger. Okay? Because there's an invisible little copper wire running from their belly button to your belly button. When you broadcast a message to non-strangers, they receive it the first time and there's a lot more trust. Right? So if you say, hey, I'm gonna, I've never used a newsletter before, but I'm going to go get one and I'm going to start sending it out to my center of influence. They get the newsletter in the mail for the first time and they see your picture on it and they go, oh, hey, I know her. And they open it up and they bring it in the house and they look at it. Right? You send a newsletter out for the first time to a stranger, they go, what's this? I don't know her, trash. Not all of them, but a large percentage of them. Right, which means 50 cents in mail to somebody that knows you, that's what it costs to communicate to them, right? But somebody who doesn't know you, you got to send it to them 10 times, right? That's five bucks now. So if you have $1,000 in your marketing budget, you got to spend it on the people who already know you, not strangers, right? And your message is going to go a lot further. Okay, so just know that. Okay, now your A team, that's these people, the people who know you and like you, your A team makes up a group. Thinking in terms of groups is great. Here's why. You got a bunch of them to market to. You can't do it all, but pick your groups in 2013. 
certainly you've got to market to your A team. You've got to be communicating to them every month, past clients, friends, and family. But who's your next group going to be? You've got to bring on a group of strangers. Is it going to be a geographic farm area, or is it going to be NOD lists? Or is it going to be FISBOs? Probably don't have enough of those yet in your marketplace. Or is it going to be expireds? Right. You could also go down to the county courthouse every month and you get a list of everybody who filed for a divorce. Right. You could write a divorce campaign. You could have a little divorce website set up. You know, why specialize in helping people go through divorce? And you could have a video on there and you could make it real cool and it could work. Right. But who are your groups? So pick your groups and then ask yourself for 2013, when will they hear from you? On the first of the month, in the middle of the month? You know, that's two communications. Three would be ideal. Right. Four would be grand slam unless they're bad communications then it would be one is too much right but when will they hear from you what will they hear from you and how will they hear from you in a newsletter phone call letter in the mail note card postcard how are they going to hear from you knocking at their door right have you got to have a strategy if you're not a door knocker you're not a door knocker so don't incorporate that into your strategy for 2013 right unless you want to play bigger in 2013 and say hey i'm going to expand outside of my comfort zone and take some real challenges in 2013 cuz i'm really ready to step up and you know what i'm going to grow my personality i'm not you know <laughs> i'm 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 still evolving i'm not stagnant right I, I, i'm willing to learn to knock and, and improve my dialogue skills and get out there and start converting people in this farm area into people who, who think of me as their mailman they get to know me all the time hey how's it going mark they see me walking down the street right so pick your groups when will they hear from you? What will they hear from you? And how will they hear from you? Now, in terms of your A team, this is a well-proven system and formula. Joe Stumpf will tell you this. Brian Buffini will tell you this. Craig Proctor. Well, I don't know about Craig Proctor. I think he's more of a buyer guy. Right? So deliver three purposeful communications to your A team every 30 days. If you've got 50 people, this is, this is assuming you've got 50 people on your A team list. Three purposeful communications to your A team every 30 days equals two deals a month. 50 people. They'll, they'll, they'll spit out two deals a month to you if they're hearing from you three times a month in a purposeful way. Like you send out a really good direct response newsletter that they enjoy, they bring it to the house. You send out a little note card, a little handwritten note to them once a month, and you give them a phone call. Like your top 50. Newsletter, note card, phone call. Newsletter, note card, phone call. Newsletter, note card, phone call. Right? Happens without you, newsletter, note card, phone call. You can't mess it up. It's got to become a new habit in 2013. But if you were doing that, newsletter, note card, phone call in 2013 to 50 people who know you and like you, they're going to start coughing up two referrals a month for you. What kind of referrals? The kind you ask for. right? If you're orchestrating well from the stage and you ask the crowd to do the wave, they'll do the wave. right? But if you ask them to do the, uh, what's that, uh, ba, 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 the Macarena, like, they'll do the Macarena. Right? What are you telling them to do? So, hey friends, like this little note card, this little handwritten little note card. Hey friends, right now I'm working with some great buyer clients who are frustrated with the lack of inventory and the fierce competition for any decent three bedroom homes in San Diego under 350. <laughs> I could really use your help finding inventory. We could really use your help finding inventory. I know you know someone who's thinking about putting their home on the market this year, and I'm wondering what can we do together to let them know about my services and my buyer clients. Right, I might have a buyer for their home today. Thanks for not keeping me a secret. Like that's an intentional communication that's basically asking for a listing, isn't it? So in 2013, newsletter, note card, phone call, newsletter, note card, phone call to my top 50 team. That's going to produce for me, right? And when it produces a listing, right away I'm going to hold it open and I'm going to stage to engage. And when I hold it open, I'm going to knock on 100 doors around my listing and say, hey, I just listed a house down the street. Here's some information for it inserted into my beautiful newsletter. And then a week later, hey, you remember last week when I came by, I just want to let you know we're holding the house open this afternoon. Come on by and have a root beer float and a hot dog. Check it out. See what they did in the backyard. It's a great time to pick your new neighbor. Oh, okay, maybe we'll come on by. Yeah, you will. You'll see my balloons and signs all over the place. Okay, i got to go by. Right, 200 houses. Right. And then when it's sold, knock, knock, hey, how's it going? Like, I always do that with my inventory. I leverage it. Right. And the flyer box, come on, the flyer box on my signpost, that's like a salt lick. Are you kidding me? All the neighborhood homeowner deer, they come by and they lick that thing. They lick a flyer right out of the box. Like, I know the first 10 days my home is on the market, all those deer lick, 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 lick. They're just licking flyers out of the box all day long. And so to me, hmm, that seems like a leverage point. Like, so what am I putting on the reverse side of my property flowers? Am I putting a message on there that makes all the neighborhood homeowner deer say, 
Hey, wow, this guy sounds like he's got a basket full of clovers. Let's go over to his open house on Saturday, right? Because he's going to feed us some great stuff and get all the deer to come over or call me up or visit my website. Right? Not deer. I mean, fabulous people that, uh, you know, you guys are with me, right? I'm just using the analogy. So masterful communication, it's intentional. It's result-oriented. It doesn't get lost in the mail with a postcard, right? So we know that historically, traditionally, referrals are the most noted source of listing business nationwide, but knocking on doors right now is highly productive if you know how to execute, right? Direct mail, it can work if you know how to work it, but I'd say 9 out of 10 realtors aren't doing it very successfully, and they're not doing it successfully at all and wasting a lot of money, right? Internet, internet. I think the internet is a great place to get listings if you know how, if you know how, right? And it doesn't take a lot of time and it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take any money, quite frankly. And, and not only that, you don't have to have an SEO, super SEO site that everybody can find, right? That's the beauty. You just have to be a marketer with the real estate license, right? <laughs> you have to come under more of my webinars. So here's a HARP 2.0 ad that I could run on Craigslist. Right. And in its current form, you know, I could run it in Craigslist in the services area. Right. It says with the HARP 2.0 refi program, I was able to refi to today's low rates and cut my monthly payments almost in half. Right. Click on the ad, get free help. And when they click on this ad, they're going to come over to my website. But they're not just going to come over to my website, homepage, search for homes, about me, all that stuff. No way. Are you kidding me? They'd hit the back browser and they'd leave. When they click on this ad and they come to my website, they're going to land on a page that says, Hey, I'm going to help you save your home through HARP. Here's how I'm going to do it. Watch the video. Pick up the phone. Call me. It's a free phone call. I'm the expert in the town. Right? And they go, oh, okay. <laughs> they watch the video. They hear my voice. They hear it. They go, oh, okay. I can imagine myself talking to that guy because I'm hearing his voice right now and I'm seeing his face. I'm seeing how, oh, okay, I'm going to call him up. Right? That's what they land on. And it's actually, it's not me. It's my mortgage partner who does HARP 2.0 refis. Right? Call me up. It's a free phone call. Nothing to sell you. Now, that's great, and that gets this into the services section on Craigslist, but man, don't you think, Chris, all those upside-down homeowners facing foreclosure might be looking in the rental section on Craigslist? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but if you ran this ad over there in the rentals, it'd get flagged, and it wouldn't last more than five seconds. Yep, you're right. But what if you incorporated it into a rental ad for, like, a real rental property? Then you could put it in rentals. Right? What if you incorporated it into a... <laughs> Bank-owned bargain, right? Foreclosure bargain. Facing foreclosure yourself, right? You could you now you could put it in the for sale, right? You could do that too, right? You just got to kind of think outside the box a little bit. So when a prospect clicks on your ad, right, from Craigslist that you syndicated through Point Two Agent and went to fifty other websites, you know, back page and all over the place, like when a prospect clicks on your ad and it takes them to your landing page or your website, wherever it takes them to, they land on something, right? You got three seconds to capture their attention before they hit the back browser and they leave your website. And they go, bye, click, gone. <laughs> right, three seconds, right? That's how fast our, our eyeball scans and our brain works. So what does an ideal landing page for like a harp kind of ad look like? Like, like Chris, first of all, why are we running harp 2.0 refi ads again? Stay with me. All right. So what does an ideal landing page look like for a, a HARP save your home, save your home with HARP look like? And let's talk about that, that little sentence right there, save your home. You guys need to understand something if you don't already, and you probably do, but let's just reinforce it. 10 out of 10 short sale salmon begin their lives as loan modification minnows. They don't want to short sale their house. They want to save it. Right. So if you're out there knocking on doors, communicating to the world that you're a short sale expert who can help people short sale their home, <laughs> okay, right? Most people are ignoring that message because it's not what they want to hear, right? If you're out there in the world broadcasting, hey, I can help people save their home for free, and darn it, if I don't help them save that home because they're just not going to qualify, no way, no how for a loan mod or a harp refi, I'll help them stay there as long as possible and get paid cash to move out, right? I'll do everything I can. Bank of America pays up to $30,000 relocation assistance. Chase, well, like $20,000, $25,000 on two deals. I hear they pay up to $45,000. They're not the only lenders doing this, you know. Oh, I didn't know. Really? Even if there's no equity and they've been living there for a year upside down like my parents? Yeah. 
oh my gosh, you need to talk to my mom. Yeah, well, here, give her my card. I'd love to talk to her. That's how people go, oh, tell me more. Come on into my life. It's a different conversation. Right? I'll end up listing their house and short selling it eventually. Right? But because 10 out of 10 short sale salmon begin their lives as loan mod minnows, hey, listen, I'm out there with loan mod minnow food. Right? And then the loan mod minnow food, I, I, they feed on what I call nutrient-rich information while they're with me. And then they morph right into a short sale salmon. They go, oh, oh, man, we need to short sale our house. Hey, that's what you do. And I go, yeah, that's what I do. And they go, oh, wow, perfect. Chris, you can help us sell it. I go, yeah, exactly. They go, oh, okay, great. That's how it works. Are you guys with me? That makes sense, right? So what's an ideal landing page look like for this ad? Looks like this. Like, here's my website, and we're on a particular page. Right? We're on a page called HARP 2.0 Refinance Help, and there's a compelling headline, Oh, more than your home is worth, can't afford the payments? I'll help you refi under HARP and reduce your payments by 50% so you can keep your home for free. Oh, that only took my eyeball about a half a second to see. And then you know what my brain tells me? There's not much other text here, but there's a little video. I like that. Let me watch this. Hi, folks. My name's Tom Jacobs with Van Dyke Mortgage. Listen, if you're upside down in your house, you owe more than it's worth, why don't you give me a call? Let's see if we can get you qualified for HARP. At today's low rates, if I can get you qualified, we can cut your payments literally in half, and that's a great way to save your house. Right? Nothing to sell you. <laughs> Free phone call. Right? We've been doing these for years, and I'd love to help you. Pick up your phone. Give me a call. Okay, bye. Right. So they can watch that, and then they go, oh, hey, that's easy. That's not somebody trying to short sell my house, breathe commission breath on me. I'm going to call Tom Right on Chris's website. I'm going to call Tom. And then they talk to Tom. And if Tom can get him refied, great. We just helped somebody save their home. Right? But if Tom can't get him refied because they don't qualify for HARP, he already knows their story because they told it to him. The reason we're here in front of you is we don't qualify for a loan mod. You know, that's not, I know. I know. Right? Most people don't. So unfortunately, you don't qualify for HARP either, and here's why. You're unemployed, you've been missing payments, it's not a Fannie or a Freddie loan, or your debt-to-income ratio, whatever the scenario, you don't qualify, you guys. And you know what happens at that point? The loan mod minnow, hmm, they look at him and they say, what do we do? Hmm, what do we do now? He says, well, what I would do is I'd call Chris, right? Oh, yeah, why? Well, Chris can help you guys you can short sale, avoid the foreclosure. You know, Bank of America pays up to thirty thousand dollars relocation assistance. I don't, you know, you guys don't have Bank of America, but they're not the only lender doing that, right? Chris can help you guys short sale, avoid foreclosure, stay in your home as long as possible, and if there's cash to get you, he'll get it for you. Oh, oh, okay. Now, right? Nutrient rich information. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're feeding on it. We're growing. We're no longer a loan mod minnow. We just turned into a short sale salmon, and we're going to swim over to Chris, right? That's how I'm getting listings off the internet, right? Listings off the internet, running HARP 2.0 ads. Go talk to my friend Tom. He's going to help you save your home. And if he can't, well, he's going to advise you to come talk to me, right? And that's a much easier way to meet people and start the process. Make sense so far? Okay, so now what if I have this ad right here? Oh, more than it's worth? Struggling to maintain? Collect up to $30,000 when you short sale. Click to learn more. What? $30,000 when you short sale? Huh? I owe more than it's worth. Right. So if somebody were to click on something like this, again, you know, you want them to go to kind of something like this, right? But different, <laughs> right? You'd want them to go to something like this, right? You'd want them to arrive on a get $30,000 to short sale where they're going to meet me. Hey, did you guys know Bank of America pays up to $30,000 cash relocation assistance to upside-down homeowners? And they're not the only lender doing that. That means, quite literally, you owe four hundred dollars and the home is worth two hundred, dollars and you've been living there for 18 months without making a payment, $30,000 relocation assistance, no foreclosure. Right? That's Bank of America. But again, they're not the only lender doing that. Right? Chase, I've been told, pays up to $45,000. I know of two cases that I've worked on for $20,000 to one particular seller and $25,000 cash to the seller, upside-down homeowners. Right? So if you're upside-down in your home and you don't qualify for a loan modification or the HARP 2.0 refi program to save your home, I'm going to help you stay there, and I'm going to help you get paid cash to move out if it's available. Okay, We're going to do that through a short sale. Now, that may allow you as much as 45 days or even 90 days or, or even longer in the home while we get the home listed and sold. Right? And I negotiate with your lender to see how much cash we can get you to help you move on down the road with no foreclosure and get a fresh start. 
So while you're here, don't be afraid to pick up a copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure, Tips, Tools, and Tactics for Dealing with Your Bank. Thanks for stopping by my website. Give me a call if I can help you guys. Right. That's the kind of page you want them to arrive on. They go, oh, right? Oh. Now, there's a lot more to this page. There's a whole article from CNN Money about Bank of America giving up $30,000. You guys will get a closer look at it in a minute. But the, you guys see the idea? When they land here, here's what I want. Here's the info. Oh, it's easy to pick up the phone and call and make the relationship. Right? So, you know, I just showed you two great ways for getting short sale listings from the Internet. Right? And did I, I said you have to have a website that doesn't have to have good SEO. <laughs> you just got to be running some smart Craigslist ads so when people click on them, it drives them to a particular page of your website that converts them into an appointment. Right? That positions you as an expert. Right? So in 2013, really, seriously, that's why I said you're not in real estate. Yeah, that's how you get paid, but you're really in relationship management 101. And depending on how good you are at that is going to depend on how good you are in real estate in 2013. So in 2013, as a relationship manager, you've got to be able to develop new relationships and systematize that process. Meaning every week it's, I knock on 100 doors or 25 doors or, you know, every week I hold uh, three open houses and I knock on 100 doors to invite the people or every week it's like 50 new contacts, right, with strangers. I'd have a number. I'd have a number and a way to achieve that number, whether it's door knocking, whether it's through networking groups, right, whether it's through seminars, whether it's through open houses, I'd have a number. And I'd, I'd have it in my calendar every week. This is the thing that I do to achieve that number. Right? And then in 2013, nurture my existing relationships. How am I going to do that? Systematize the process. Newsletter, note card, phone call. It's not hard to go find newsletters. I make a great one called The Welcome Mat. Joe Stumpf makes a great one over at Buyer for a Lonely. Craig Forte makes a great one over at Systems for Life. There's a lot of great newsletter tools on the market for realtors to use with their center of influence. And when you know how to use them smartly, I'll show you how in a minute, you can even make a good tool even better right? using a technique that I call peanut butter prospecting. But in 2013, develop new relationships, right? systematize the process, and nurture your existing relationships and systematize the process. And now you're in the game. Right? Now you're in the game. If you've got 50 people on your A-team list, you're getting two referrals a month. That's 24 transactions over the course of the year if you convert those and don't even leverage them into anything else. But if you leverage them into something else, that's, that's, a, that's a great business just from newsletter, note card, phone call every month to three people. Right. So also in 2013, change your dialogue. Right. I'm, I'm going to recommend a book you guys go out. It's called Selling with a Noble Purpose. Right. NSP, Noble Selling Purpose. There's some really groundbreaking research that's been done that shows that top producers across all industries are not, I mean, they, they're, they're money motivated, but money is not their primary selling purpose or motivation. They have a higher cause. They have a higher purpose for what they do. Right, selling with a noble purpose. When you're selling with a noble purpose, right, your prospect knows it, and they buy more from you, and they buy more from you more often because they know that you have their best intentions in your heart. They know it. They can sense it. Right, selling with a noble purpose. That's how you bring some passion back into your business in 2013. Right, <laughs> you know, increase the nobility of your purpose out there. Right? Use smart dialogue like save your home with HARP 2.0. I can help you guys save your home with HARP 2.0. Right? Use smart dialogue like, hey, get a $30,000 fresh start even if you owe more than your home is worth. Right? Those are words that attract and they don't repel. Right? They say, well, what are you talking about? Tell me more. Right? So like Napoleon Hill said in his all-time classic, Think and Go Rich, hey, have a warm and pleasing personality, have some great dialogue skills, you're way ahead of the game. Right? Oh, yeah, you want to go buy some tools from people? You can go do that, too. But, man, if you've got some great habits, a warm and pleasing personality, some good dialogue skills, you're killing it. Right? So, again, successful entrepreneurs have great ideas, and they execute flawlessly. Right? And, and you know, they don't execute flawlessly, but that's what they aim for. Right? That's what they aim for. We all aim for flawless execution. So I'm going to go knock on doors. I'm going to have a great personality. I'm going to have great dialogue. When they're not going at home, I'm going to leave a handwritten note stuck on the door. Right? This is what it's going to say. And, you know, that's, that's what they do. And I'm going to do it every week, no matter what, to 50 doors, no matter what. Right? That's what I do. It's who I am. 
right? And while I'm out there, you know, it's going to start to rain. And I'm not talking about wet rain. I'm talking about you're going to start making it rain. You're going to be a rainmaker, right? You're going to get out in the relationship business in 2013. So how do you list and sell for sale by owners? It's real simple as a marketer with a real estate license, right? You have something that they want or need, and you make it easy to get. Right? What does a for sale by owner want and need? Right? In 2013, because if you want FISBO listings, what if what if FISBOs want and need? Help selling their home. Send me a bunch of good pre-qualified buyers that are ready to purchase, and they're seriously motivated about my property. I don't want to have to keep showing it a bunch of times. Could you do that? Could you help me market this thing? Could you come over here and take a great video and great photos and get it onto some local website that a bunch of buyers come to and like pre-qualify those people and set up appointments? I'd love it. Sure, I could do that for you. Really, what are you going to charge me? Nothing. That's free. Right? I'm going to bring you a great buyer and you're going to pay me a commission. Right? And if you get tired of this game, <laughs> these shenanigans, I'll list your house for you and sell it faster and get you more money. But hey, I'd love to help you. Right? I've got a bunch of stuff that will help you guys for free. Oh, great. Right? How about expireds? have something they want or need and make it easy to get right if I'm an expired listing what do I want man I'm sitting there going man what the heck I just had my home on the market for nine months with a realtor what, what, yeah. you, I, I might be embarrassed you know my what are my neighbors blah, blah, blah. I got this whole thing going on right but what if I got a communication somehow whether it was at the door over the phone through a note that somebody left or through a newsletter what if I got a smoke signal a communication that said Hey, Mr. Person who just had your home on the market and expired. <laughs> that must be frustrating. Man, yeah, having your home on the market in Forest Ranch and having it not sell for six months? Wow. Hey, listen, why don't you go over to the forestranch.com website and click on the expired listing history page and see everybody else that happened to in your neighborhood over the last two years. You know you're going to be shocked to discover that some of them relisted with another brokerage and actually sold their home at a higher list price. Go check it out. You'll find out how they did it. Don't you think that expired listing person would say, where? What, what website is that? Where do I go? Who else did this happen to in my neighbor? Of course they would. Of course they would. And following the formula I showed you guys earlier, if they went over there and there was just a, like a headline that said, hey, here's the information you're looking for about your specific community, people that, that what happened to you happened to them too, check it out below. With a little video right there, they're going to click on the video and they're going to watch it. Hey, I'm so glad you came over here. And they're going to meet you. And they're going to hear why you're not a, a pork belly soybean commodity when it comes to selling expired listings. And they're going to go, man, I like this agent. I like what she's doing. I like what he's doing over here. I'm going to pick it up at the phone and give her a call and try it again with her. Right. So in 2013, you know, you got FISBOs, you got expires, you got short sales, you got equity listings out there. Right. And so how are you going to get those listings? You're going to get them from referrals because you're communicating to your center of influence every month, three times a month, newsletter, note card, phone call. And you're going to get them from a farm area or from a list because you're communicating to the list or the farm area. Right. How are you communicating to those things? I'm going to highly recommend a newsletter. Right. I'm going to highly recommend door knocking. <laughs> and if you want to mail into it, I'm going to recommend a way to mail. I'm not going to show you guys the way to mail. I'm going to show you the what and not explain the how. Yeah, we're done. Okay, good. Yeah, we're at the end here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this down, right? And we're going to go over here to uh, Simple Listing Solutions, my website. And we're going to take a look from here, right? We're going to uh, just take a look at a toolkit. I'm going to click on a little button here that says Offline Marketing. And I'm going to say, okay, when it comes to short sales, I've got these tools here, right? I've got two books, right? The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. Learn how you can sell your home for less deal of the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your letter to pay all the sales costs for free comprehensive guide to help you avoid foreclosure using a real estate short sale right read the book you'll know that I'm a short sale guru you'll read the book and you'll go wow this agent is great I love his personality really knows what's going on right read my other book right learn some stuff about your bank right and it's still gonna position me as a short sale guru right because you're gonna eventually have to end up with a short sale guru you just don't know it yet right so I got a couple of ebooks and then I've got these letters they're written like a press release Right, with a compelling headline, free valuable offer, no hoops to jump through, just go visit this website and get a free copy of your book from a certified short sale advisor. Right? Learn all these things and look at these testimonials and it's it's the most powerful book on the market. You can right now you can go get a free copy. Right. So that's a direct response letter that I could also put on the reverse side of my property flyers, right? Out at the little salt lake box that all the deer come by. So when they turn it over they go, Oh, huh? What? <laughs> Right. I've got door hangers. Oh, more than your home is worth. Can't afford to pay. Get the truth about your options. And I put a little post-it note on this, and I write on these things, and I mark them up, leave them at the door. Postcards. 
Owe more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay, get the truth about your options. This is one of three postcards, one of three door hangers, right? One of two different letters in, in English. I have them also duplicated in Spanish, right? And then I have these little business cards. I call them money-making business cards. So it's like, you know, your Remax balloon can go on the other side. But, but on this side, it says, owe more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay, get the truth about your options, right? You get a free copy of the book, The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure from a certified short sale advisor. Oh, great. So I'll tell you in a minute how to use, well, the dialogue that goes with the card in one particular system with the card. There's a dozen ways to use the card, but we're going to talk about some dialogue here in a minute. Corrugated plastic bandit signs, right? Corrugated plastic signs are called bandit signs. That's what some people call them, right? Avoid foreclosure. Have your lender forgive your debt. Sell your home. Pay nothing. Owe nothing. Save credit. Toll free, right? Right to a toll free script. So these are all a bunch of tools, right, that I can use to market with, to prospect with. I've got some other tools like direct response newsletters. In fact, I've got the uh, the January edition just came out. Let's look at the October edition, right? This is a direct response news. This is, this is mine, but you can go get them anywhere, right? This is mine. It's called the Welcome Mat, and it's a four-page newsletter, right? There's the inside pages. There's the cover pages. You know, each page is eight and a half by eleven. So it prints out on an 11 by 17 sheet of paper, right? And it's a four-page newsletter. And then with two folds, right, it folds right up into the size of a large postcard, right? Just like that. And the mailing label goes right here. Make sense? Okay. So it's a four-page newsletter, and here is the cover page, the home page. And right here on this real estate sign, you know, down here it says, get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Short Sales. Right? Just visit my website. Over here it says get a free home value report. Over here it says thanks for not keeping me a secret. I can help people that you know and care about save their home for free with ham, par, papa. Thank you. Right. So it's a direct response newsletter that I send out every month. Right. I'm going to close this. And um, in fact, I've got the January edition that just came out. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the January edition of the Welcome Mat. Yeah, here's the January edition. So, um, you know, I've got these fields that I can just edit. I can just put my photo, my logo goes right here, my domain name, my domain name, and my domain name goes right here. I put my logo and my return address, and then the mailing label, right? And again, it folds up, and it goes out in the mail the size of a postcard. And there's always a person up here saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for your referrals. They're the lifeblood of my business, and I can help the people that you know and care about save their home for free with Har, Pam, Papa. Thank you. Visit my website right, every month. And because this is a four-page newsletter, remember, you guys, I don't have the whole thing. Here, I'll open it up. Right. Because this is a four-page newsletter that folds in half, and when they open it up like a magazine, right, things can fall out of it. Like I can insert things into my newsletter each month. That's why I call it peanut butter prospecting. The newsletter is like a sandwich. And when they open it up, something falls out. Right? If my newsletter is going into a geographic farm area, what falls out is comps with a letter from me on the other side. Neighborhood comps, things like that. Right? If the newsletter is going to my center of influence, what falls out is a photocopied handwritten letter. Like I write a handwritten letter and I photocopy it a bunch of times and I insert it in the newsletter. And because handwritten letters, like notes like that, they get read. They always do. And my messaging is always intentional. It's purposeful, right? And every month they get it, right? My center of influence. They love my newsletter. They go, great newsletter. I love to play the games. It's a great looking newsletter. I can't believe you put this thing together. You've got some great skills. And hey, I love your letters. Hey, I'm looking out for people for you. I'm not keeping you a secret, Chris. Hey, thanks. Right? Direct response newsletters. Right. Um, yeah, I've got this other uh, business card right here, right? Here's, a, here's sort of a close-up of a, think about a simple business card. Now, some agents I know, they have like, get 10% off a of pizza when you go to Joey's Pizza, like on the back of their card. But on the back of my card, I've got, you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. Let me show you how. Right. And when I'm knocking on doors and talking to people, I'm not talking about the book. They can see it. It's right there. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, you guys. You guys don't want to short sell your home. Listen, I want you to go to my website, experthomeassist.com. Click on the HARP 2.0 help page. I want you to go meet Tom. Tom can help you guys, right? He's the number one guy in the county for getting people approved under HARP 2.0. What's that? That's the government refinance program for underwater homeowners. You guys spinning your wheels in the mud here with your bank on that loan mod. Go over here. Talk to Tom. He doesn't have anything to sell you. It's a free phone call. 
Oh, Harp, the refi, really? We're upside? Yeah, go talk to Tom. That's what he does. Let me give you, you guys, and think about anybody else you know. But what's this book here on your card? Don't worry about that. You can get a free copy when you get over there if you want, but go talk to Tom. Right? Hey, I got to go. Bye. Listen, I'm not breathing any commission breath on you about a short sale. You'll discover that I'm an expert. Go discover that for yourself. I don't need to tell you about the gold medal hanging around my neck. <laughs> it's clear. Let me leave you guys a few of my cards and ask you to think about who you might know at your work, your church, or right here in the neighborhood that could use some help saving their home, that could use some help right, with a loan mod or with a harp refi. They can go right over here. Oh, what's this book up here? Oh, don't worry about the book. They can go right over here and get help saving their home. Well, please tell me about the book. Okay, it's a book. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. That's what I do. I'm a real estate agent. I, I help people do that. But I wrote a book on short sales. That's one of the things I specialize in. And um, that's an option for people. If you don't qualify for a loan mod, you don't qualify for a HARP, and you guys are just not going to get qualified that way, um, you can always short sell your house. right? And these days, Bank of, well, Bank of America pays up to $30,000 relocation assistance. So there's there's cash available oftentimes for upside down homeowners to help you move out with no foreclosure. And, and that's what I do. But again, go over here and talk to Tom. Oh, and if Tom can't help us refi or with the loan mod, can we come talk? Yeah, you sure can. Nice meeting you, ma'am. Right? That's the approach. That's the approach. Make sense? Everybody say yes? Yeah. I couldn't hear you because I've got everybody muted, but um, I felt the vibration. So in the, these letters, again, put them on the reverse side of your property flyer. That's a great place for them. That, that salt lick, you know, that all the neighborhood homeowner deer come by out there, grab your letter. What's this? What's this? Oh, look, this agent wrote a book. Hmm, they really are above the crowd. Right. So these are some tools. These are some tools. But let's go look at some websites. Right. Let's go look at some like different websites and the way that these things kind of play out. Right. In, today's, in, in 2012, as a realtor, if you don't have the ability to add a new page to your website like this afternoon, like you went out for lunch this afternoon and you got a great idea and you're like, Oh, I'm going to go back to my office. I'm going to build a FISBO page and get that thing up right now. If you don't have the ability to do that, wow, right? That's a bummer because these websites that we've been trained to purchase over the last 20 years from, you know, great companies that make beautiful websites like, you know, I'm not going to name them, but they're static. They are, they're search for homes, community information about me. They look pretty, but they're a commodity. <laughs> they're a pork belly. They're every. They're all over the place. Right? They're the things that people go to, hit that back browser, and leave. Right. So search for homes is important. Sure, you want to have that. That's a nice tool to be able to give to people. Right. Hey, I'd love to help you search for homes. You know, and I could get a, I could even get an IDX that you know has got a you know lead capture program, so I can get buyers to sign up for my drip program and get a whole bunch of buyer business. But in 2013, I'm going to focus on listings. The buyers, they'll come as a result of that, right? So I want a website that's going to position me as an expert. It's going to be dripping on people. I can build all the pages I want because let's get real. San Diego, like, so here's a website, you guys. It says, if you're upside down on your San Diego home or investment property and can no longer afford the payments, I'll help you save it or get paid to avoid foreclosure through free government refi loan mod and short sale programs. And then it says, did you know Bank of America is paying up to $30,000? And it's got a bunch of information here, right? Get a free copy of my book, start the drip campaign. But listen, San Diego, come on. San Diego is really big. You could buy a home on the beach in Del Mar for $55 million, or you could probably go find a shack way out in the desert for $55,000. And in between those two locations, there's a whole ton of stuff, right? You're not the expert of any of that. <laughs> Maybe some of it, but all of it, give me a break. Right. I want to focus on listings in 2013. And like I said, if I'm sitting at lunch with some people this afternoon, I get a great idea and I, have, and I don't have the ability, right? because I'm not a techno-savvy HTML computer programmer guy and I don't know how to do that stuff, wow, I'm really, really limited. Well, fortunately today, technology allows us like with simple listing solutions, simple, like there's a reason I call my company simple. right? And, and there's a reason I got a PhD computer programmer in my back pocket building bulletproof technology for you guys per my instructions so that it's simple, <laughs> right? So let me show you something. I'm not going to work San Diego in 2013. That's not my strategy to, to crush it. That's way too big. You know all those door hangers and direct mail pieces I have? What, am I going to mail them to everybody in San Diego? That's like several million homes. <laughs> I'm going to knock on all their doors too, three times a week. Yeah, right. And I don't want all that business anyway. You know what I want? I want the sweet stuff that I know if I listed, I got 15 offers for it Monday. That's what I want. 
right? So I'm going to target my, you know, my market. I'm going to target my marketing efforts. And because I have the technology to do that, it's really easy. And I'm not a computer geek. So what I'm going to do in 2013 is I'm going to do a couple things to my website here. The website that's got the get $30,000 to short sell your home, right? Can't get your loan modified, don't qualify for HARP, discover how help people stay in their home and get paid to move out. Watch my video, right? Like me. Get a free copy of my book, right? Want help with HARP? Come over here and meet my partner, Tom, right? You can talk to Tom. He's right here. Right, free attorney consult. You can meet my bankruptcy attorney. He'd love to talk to you. He'll tell you, hey, listen, if you can avoid a foreclosure, avoid the foreclosure. Right, if you can short sale and get paid, <laughs> you got some money to cover my fee. I'd love to talk to you about a bankruptcy. Right. So you want to search for homes? Sure, you can do that too. Right. You want to learn about a deed in lieu? You can learn about that. Deficiency judgment. You want to see if you're looking at a deficiency judgment? Fill in all this information. Just click submit. I'll follow up with you, and I'll let you know whether or not you're looking at a deficiency judgment. Right? I'll follow up with you with an automated drip campaign too. Right? So I've got this website happening right here so far, right, with a couple books sprinkled throughout it that people can get for free that position me as an expert in their ebooks so they're viral. But now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come over here to simplelistingsolutions.com and I'm gonna impress you guys because I'm gonna log into my back office just like this, and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna do some work to my stealth site. I'm gonna go down here to the customize website menu link where I've already made some pages for this community that I want to target called Forest Ranch, and I'm going to drag these pages over. Let's put them right by Search for Homes. Yeah, so I'll put my Forest Ranch Bank Owned Bargain Buyer Campaign page. Here's my Forest Ranch Expired Listing History page, and here's my Forest Ranch For Sale by Owner Campaign and Buyer Campaign. And how about my Forest Ranch Homeowner Service Center? Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to click Save Changes. And then I'm going to go over here to my main menu, and I'm going to click Customize Website Content. I'm going to go to my home page, and I'm going to say Edit My Home Page. And I'm going to change the San Diego right here to say 4S Ranch, because that's the new community I'm going to be targeting. And I'm just going to click Submit. That's pretty easy. So now I'm going to go back over to my website. As soon as this thing is through spinning its little gear over here and letting me know we're done, and I'm going to reload my browser. And you're going to see that in 2013, I'm now going to target a community called 4S Ranch. Right? There's about 2,000 homes in there, and they're all underwater. We call it Foreclosure Ranch. Right? And now I've got these other pages, 4S Ranch Bank Owned Bargains, 4S Ranch Expired Listing History, 4S Ranch For Sale by Owner Properties. There's my FISBO campaign. Right? Forest Ranch Homeowner Service Center, right? Here's where my vendors get to be, right? My dog walkers for Forest Ranch, my landscapers for Forest Ranch, my pool cleaners for Forest Ranch. They get to be over here with links to their website if they've got a website. I'm also going to put an insert in my newsletter that I send into Forest Ranch every month about them, and they're going to help pay all the postage. Get $30,000 to short sale is still here. HARP 2.0 is still here. Everything else is still here, right? I'm just working Forest Ranch now. Right. So my Forest Ranch for sale by owner properties, because it's easy, I can upload photos, I can upload videos on any page that I make over here, like property tour videos. You know, I can do it. It's easy to build this page. I can make it look completely different if I want to, but this is the way I made mine look. Right. So it says, for sale by owner, pre-approved buyers can schedule property showings by calling the number below. Are you interested in this property? Call me up. <laughs> Forest Ranch, three bedroom plus loft office, nook, two and a half bath, asking five ninety five. This lovely home, right? Right. You want to know more about it and schedule an appointment? Call me up. If you're pre qualified, I'll schedule an appointment. I'll bring you over here because this seller is utilizing my Forest Ranch Seller Assist program, my Fisbo program, my Fisbo program. Here's the way it works. If you're thinking about selling your Forest Ranch home on your own, I can help you get it sold for free. I'll advertise it over here on my Forest Ranch website. Right, I'll come take videos, photos, put them on my website over here. I'll create Craigslist ads and syndicate those all over the place, driving a bunch of traffic over here to find your home and learn about it. And I'll make sure those buyers are pre-qualified before they ever talk to you and that they're really interested in your home before they ever talk to you. Right? This service is completely free. Right? How am I going to let all the FISBOs know about that? Well, it's easy to get the list of FISBOs. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a picture of my website just like this, I'm going to print it out on a piece of paper, eight and a half by fourteen, and I'm going to put a little post-it note on it that says, "Check this out. 
right, with a little highlighter, and I'm going to circle it. And then on the reverse side of this paper, it's going to outline my Forest Ranch Seller Assist Program and how it works. Then all I have to do is fold this piece of paper up three times, stick in an envelope, and mail it to the FISBOs. Right? They open it up, and they go, wow. Same thing with the expires, right, while I'm positioning myself as a short sale expert in 2013. Right. So, um, yeah, I, you guys, admittedly, I've gotten into some kind of salesy stuff on you here, haven't I? I'm kind of showing you what I do, right? And I'm showing you what other agents have done with my, with my sites because they're easy to play with. Second lien eliminations, mortgage balance reduction program, Ladera Ranch, Visbo, rent buyback program. Uh, Mike Daniels over here with his Bressy Ranch nosy neighbors, right? Sign up for my nosy neighbor program. Learn all about what's happening in Bressy Ranch. Get an update anytime anything happens in Bressy Ranch, right? Sure, right? Larry Martin over here is out in Grand Rapids, Michigan, killing it. He just had his best year ever in 2012, and in 2013, he says, Chris, I'm going to do 100 transactions in 2013. What do I need to do? So, you know, I said, well, you need an assistant. It's time for an assistant, Larry, right? He just had a fabulous year out in Grand Rapids, right, using my system all year. So um, I'm doing some pretty cool stuff over here at Simple Listing Solutions. You guys might want to um, just, you know, take a look at it if you have a chance. You know, when you have a chance, you'll have a chance. But um, see what we're doing over here. My system is $39 a month, month to month. There's no contract, right? So think about um, putting me in your stocking this year, and I'll bring my partner Dave, the IT guy, and we'll join your team, and we'll set up your stealth website for you, right? Get it all dialed in for you, get your toolkit all set up so you're armed to the teeth, the listing stuff, and then I'll show you how in your back office, right, you can come back here, and you can do amazing things when you log into your back office, like run HARP 2.0 Craigslist ads, because you'll have your own, right? You can run your own HARP ads, and you can point them to any page of your website so that when people click on it, poof, they arrive at that page of your website. You know, you got all kinds of ads. I, I help you. I help you. I show you how to do Craigslist. I got all the ads built for you, and I show you how to make more of them. Right? You got a lead center that's built into the website so you can manage all your prospects from the back office and turn the drip campaigns on or off. Right? Right out of the back office, you can do this stuff. Right out of the back office, you can customize your website. You can customize the menu. Right, move pages back and forth as you work on them. You can customize the email drip campaigns. This thing is, is, is a bunch of drip campaigns built into it all over the place. And it's really easy to open them up and edit the campaigns or create new campaigns. Right? These websites convert into any language. So if your prospect comes over here and they speak you know, Chinese, they can just click Chinese and they can translate it into Chinese. Right. or into Japanese, or in Spanish, or Italian, or French, or German, whatever their language is, no problem. Right. And again, from your back office, you can run all your Craigslist ads. You can create new ones. We show you how to create them and upload them. Right. You can upload documents to pages as you create new pages. Right. So if you want to upload you know, scanned you know, images or documents for your clients to go download, you can do that. I mean, there's nothing that you can't do to the website. Right. You see how on this one on Bressy Ranch, look how he dropped this little box in right here, contact us box. You can drop that in any place you want. He could drop that book in over here too. In fact, he ought to. He ought to have his, get a free copy of his book right here. Right? It's like playing with Legos. You don't have to be an HTML computer programmer. You can play with Legos. Right? So there's a lot more stuff back here besides that, but click training videos. You can come back here and you can walk, enter the click training uh, video library and you can watch the dialogue training. Like what to say at the door. Like, hi, my name is Chris. I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor with Kelly Williams. Listen, this may or may not apply to you guys, but I know you know some people here in the neighborhood who'd love to have this information. What is it? Well, it shows them how we can help them save their home for free through HAMP or HART, right? That dialogue, getting it down. You know, $30,000 and a fresh start, right? Hey, thanks for not keeping us a secret. That kind of dialogue, you can just get it back here, right? How to build pages. Watch the video. How to create my own Craigslist ads and point them to any page that I want. Watch the video. Right? How to use YouTube. Watch the video. YouTube marketing training. Right? And if the video is not enough, you need more help, call me up. I'm on your team. Dave's on your team. We're on your team. It's not here's a bunch of tools, good luck. It's like, hey, <laughs> let's go get some business. Right? Let's work. It's time to go to work. Here's your stuff. Don't use not understanding my stuff as an excuse for not getting business because I'm not going to let that happen. Right, I know my stuff works. Do you? Like, will you? My stuff works. Will you? Right? And you can't call me up and say, "I'll oh, turn it off because it doesn't work." I'll say, "What are you talking about?" 
<laughs> I mean, I'll turn it off, but you can't say it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, call me up. Let's get it working. It's 39 bucks a month. It's your, it's your 220s, right? So um, anyway, you guys, hope you got some good, good fresh uh, ideas here today in terms of how to make 2013 your best year ever and knowing that more than anything, it's your habits. It's your habits, it's your personality, it's your dialogue. Having a noble selling purpose, right? NSP, what's your noble selling purpose? Why are you doing real estate? Like, why do you do real estate? Why'd you get into it? For real, ask yourself that when you get off this webinar with me. Why'd you get into it in the first place? Money? <laughs> you know, if that's it, if that's it, of course you're toast, right? After a couple of years, right? It's gotta be something else. What else is it, All right? So thanks for your time today, you guys. Don't keep me a secret over here at Simple Listing Solutions. And remember, I'll, I'll get this, uh, today's webinar has been recorded. I'll get it posted over here on my Facebook page at the Short Sale Coaching Club. So you can come back and watch it anytime you like. Like you can watch some of these other uh, past, past stuff, okay? Um, questions right now? I think I've answered them all. You guys are good at, um, hey, thank you, Mike. Uh, if you guys have not, if you have questions and you don't know how to communicate with me, you can just click on the little arrow. Little, you should have a little black arrow. I think it's or orange maybe, and it'll open up a drop-down box, and you could type in uh, your question. Just hit enter, and it'll send it over to me. But um, I think you guys are all on board with that already. Um, oh, hey, uh, good, Deb, you're Riverside. All right, hey, uh, oh, hey, you're not far away from me, Riverside. I'm down in San Diego, Deb. So uh, anyway, we're close. Right. Hey, you guys, go do good work in 2013. Really, go help as many people as you can. And, you know, it's like it's, I, my friend Mike Hardwick in Nashville, Tennessee, says like this, focus on the given and the getting takes care of itself. Right. Focus on the given, the getting takes care of itself. Thanks for your time today. Bye.